Hunter Ace. Ululu. Is that Hunter Ace? There. Playing free. So Spectral Side is, I think, a reasonable keep. Because you kind of need it. The only problem is it's at a really bad spot in my hand. But I think against Priest, you kind of need cards like this. Even if you play that turn 2 for 1, it's fine-ish. It's not that bad. You cycle through your deck more. Top 22 legend. This is not my ties. Of destruction they come. I think we wait. We can do this on three, this on four, this on five, it's fine. Guys, how does outcast work? Once the card is on the left or the right, the outcast effect goes off. Yeah, let's just kill that. I'm not gonna I don't want that one. Looks like he's playing the standard. Galakrond Priest. So standard Galakrond Priest has two Renews and two Apotheosis we have to think about. The good thing is they don't have Ooze. So you know what happens, right, when they don't have the Ooze. By blood be born again. Power in trinkets. That's why don't you like Polkelt? It's not a good card in the deck. It doesn't do much. For Outland! On wings of destruction they come. <laughs> is Ty drinking a coffee? Yes, Tyson is waking up mood. On wings of destruction they come. They don't need Ooze Ties, they just steal yours. So I think his hand is full of Ren Yu and uh Apotheosis at this point, guys. Oh, what? He is playing Ooze? Wow. Okay, now you're gonna lose. That was not funny. Wow. Ooze and Priest there, huh? <gasps> we can glide yet. Shuffle your hand. Wait, wait. Is glide a legit pick? Um, Not really, right? No, no, no. No, no way. It's not. It's troll. We pick the random spell here. We want damage. Pew. Damage. For Outland. For Outland. No, Glide is always bait. You are like Pock Glide and then it never works. Uh, Redeem must answer the question, Thais. What would you do if I ooze? Timeout. Dance, puppet, dance. <gasps> Skill of Gulam top deck. Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da. How to draw skill of Gulam. Ta -da 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 -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. This is how you do it. Easy skill of Gulam. Ta -ta 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 -da -ta Ooh, we have a one better. Remove the whole board strat here. Damn, that is nutty. One mana and we kill the whole board, guys. Hmm. Hmm. I know there's a way. I will find a way. a very complicated turn could go a lot of directions there but i think it's the better play 
Because I don't really need to have ooze on this board, I think. I mean, I could have played ooze. Shall have probably played ooze there. Why not, right? Yeah, probably ooze was better than spectral sight. I was thinking of soul mirror, but he never soul mirrors it. He's just like death. Oh, what? He does. Never mind. See, I had the 200 IQ read. Hazak! Minus nine! And now, H Hunter raises Kek Wait. This is escalating quickly. I thought I had all the time. I thought I had all the control. But suddenly, the tables have turned. You think this is your time? It is mine. No healing, though. The thing is, guys, you need to kill Bard, otherwise he plays Epitheosis. So there's... You're not allowed to leave a minion up here. Okay? Only if it's lethal, maybe. Then it's fine. 10, 13, 14. We have lethal, right? 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 15. I have the mana 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this matchup is really hard. I don't like this matchup at all. Yesterday I had to play this twice, this matchup. It's so bad. Um, so the way you win this matchup is the Macterial. The question is, do you do it like this? Do you maybe keep one of these two cards because they're not too bad? I think you can keep this. But I don't think you keep weapon. Because I really want to hit the Macterial. And they're listening to a pronunciation of a word redeemed. Hey Lotus, I really like what you do and I have I'm happy when I watch you. But for the god, why 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 don't you clear the Glidra Gidra versus Blyces? WTF man, what had your thought about? And the reason why. So he played Nature Studies turn one. Then at turn 3, he plays Gidra. People are maybe scared of Overgrowth. But you should know that he doesn't have Overgrowth in that hand. You should make that read. Because he played Nature Studies. What makes his Overgrowth is 3 mana. If you have 3 mana and you can choose between anti Gidra or Overgrowth, you always play Overgrowth. So you know he doesn't have Overgrowth in the hand. Then I can make indeed the play of... Um, of uh, the Bogby Moonfire, but these resources are really, really huge. If I just uh, coin the 5 for Stealth guy, or I draw a good card to play like my Animal Guardians earlier, it's much better. I mean, we hit right. But I mean, no matter what we would have done, guys, even if you would have, if I would have done it, I would have still lost that game. Don't think about it, if that Gidra wasn't there, I would ever beat the Keltas the way it went. Such a I mean, actually, he's quite low on life, huh? Somehow we got him at 11 already. Okay, so next one he has 4 mana and 10 cards or 11 cards even. Yeah, I don't really have to care about um, the 5-4. Hmm, I might just skill of gold on this. Probably the only moment to get the skill of gold on in. Let me 
just pass, right? I mean, I can actually do this, do four AOE, but he can't really hit here. It's pretty good though. It's very good. I think we do it. We take nine anyway, right? So. Go face there. Don't make trades like that. My hand is too full. Only four men. I mean, he might have drawn overgrowth now out of the last four cards, but still. Man, why didn't I get this kind of a hand yesterday? Silence. Five, seven, GG. Yeah, we have Fragment in the deck. No Dead. Top. Here we go. Poof. Really?